All right, let's talk about some rates of change. First of all, I want to look at number two. Approximate k prime at two, which is basically saying to find the instantaneous rate of change of the function k at two. So let's look at our function k up here. First of all, we notice that k is differentiable. And so that means if it's differentiable, then it is continuous. So k is continuous. And that means if I look up here, there's not even a two in here. However, since it's continuous, I know that there's a two. It's just not shown in this table. Since we don't have the value of two, we're gonna approximate it. And the best way to approximate a function is to use the average rate of change. So if you wanna approximate or estimate the instantaneous rate of change, which is what this is asking us to do, then you're gonna use the average rate of change. And remember, that is just a slope equation from algebra one, which is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And also remember, we're trying to get this really close. The instantaneous rate of change, we usually go really, really close. So we're gonna go as close as we can. So we are gonna use one and we're gonna use three. Now I know that some of you wanted to use this to approximate or estimate it, but if you think about it, when we're talking about a function and its instantaneous rate of change, the instantaneous rate of change comes from the original function. So we're not gonna estimate with the derivative, we're gonna estimate using the original function. So all you've gotta do now is plug the numbers in. This is gonna be f of three minus f of one over three minus one, and that gives you four minus negative two over two, which is six over two, which is three. So k prime of two, or the instantaneous rate of the function k at two is approximately three. Now that's different from the instantaneous rate of change. Remember the instantaneous rate of change is I rock, right? And that is slope. And that is found by using the derivative. So what we're looking for is, we're looking for k prime at three. And this is the instantaneous rate of change at x equals three. Luckily, this time it is on the table. So here's k prime, here's three, and that number is six. If you would like some more practice with this or to even see more videos, you can go to AP Classroom. What you do is you click on unit two at the top and then once you click on unit two, you can go down and you can actually watch any one of these videos. If you notice this little arrow here, um, this is estimating derivatives, which is what that question is all about. And that little tiny arrow means that I did assign this video to you. I don't have to assign the videos for you to watch. You can actually watch any of these videos, but this is a great video because, um, first of all, Verge does a great job explaining it. Second of all, there are several different examples if you need more examples to work.